comfrey in our really well-loved garden flower. They're also known as globe amaranth, and the flowers look a bit like clover blossoms, and they're made up of bracts. The actual flowers are tiny with yellow stamens evident above the bracts. I love them because they're drought tolerant, they're deer proof, and they have very few pest or disease issues. Butterflies love the blooms and they bloom through the hottest temperatures until frost occurs. They can grow in beds or containers and they don't require much in the way of fertilizer. Now, four inch pots are widely available and they can be grown from seed as well. The brightly colored blooms are great for flower arrangements. They are great for dried flowers, potpourri, and wreath crafts. I'll tie a bundle together and put it to, on a package, drape it on a bottle of wine, or you even use it on the Christmas tree. The QIS or KISS series of Gomfrina grows to about two feet tall and stays very erect. The bicolor Audrey Rose, the Carmine Pink, Strawberry Fields, and the Q QIS Purple are some of the best. They bloom best in full sun. You want to cut the plants back early though to encourage them to branch and to stay up straight. It also increases the number of blooms that you'll get. So when I'm cutting a little four inch pot like this, I would cut it down to about right here initially to really get them to, blan to branch and be very sturdy and healthy. The bloom color does decline as the flower ages, so you want to collect flowers when they're really in their prime and new for the best color for dried flowers. But the older blooms will have these straw colored bracts at the bottom, and the seeds of the gomfrina are contained within those bracts, so you can pull these off and plant them in other areas. They often reseed by themselves. And, um, they, they, germ, they will bloom again in about six weeks after planting, so you can plant them throughout the summer. Now, some of the newer varieties of Gomfrina have been a bit disappointing to me. The gnome and the buddy dwarf types have just not taken the heat well and haven't made it through the entire summer. But some of the other new ones are really winners. I love fireworks. It's a nonstop bloomer that has overwintered for the past two winters in my garden. You can cut it back when the tops freeze and just try not to water it too much. The plants can go three to four feet tall and two feet wide, so use it in the backs of beds or borders. It's a great cut flower, but not as good dried. Now, Pink Zazzle is a brand new Gomfrina that's my new favorite flowers. The large, hot pink blooms are about three inches wide and they're very long lasting. They even dry well. They're good in containers, beds, and flower arrangements, and they dry very beautifully. They're beautiful with chartreuse sweet potato vine or wasabi coleus with pentas, angelonia, euphorbias, and zinnias. They're really terrific flowers. For Backyard Basics, I'm Trisha Shari. Thanks for watching. Thank you.